So it's how you look at yourself, how you're going to reconstruct yourself. Because again, uh, in other videos subsequent to this prior, I'm looking at ways to actually navigate your own life's journey and path now that you know what's happened to you. And I can tell you that we were given a lot of opportunities as kids, as kids growing up. We, we re received these opportunities because my mother was going to be the very best mother she could possibly be. Albeit she was narcissistic and pathologically Al so. Albeit she was narcissistic and pathologically Al so. Albeit she was narcissistic and pathologically and so. Over the years, her input became more and more damaging to the young, uh, growing uh, people that we would then become. And I am just now putting myself back together again and what i'm calling it's consumed that essentially is repairing the damage making yourself stronger and more beautiful because of the weakness perceived or not the bowl was weak because it couldn't withstand the impact of the hard floor is one way of looking at it or the bowl withstood the hard floor and the pieces are perfect so we can put them back together again with gold. So it's how you look at yourself, how you're going to reconstruct yourself. Because again, uh, in other videos subsequent to this prior, I mean, I'm looking at ways to actually navigate your own life's journey and path now that you know what's happened to you, you know how you've been duped. You know you've been with narcissistic partners. You know where it lies. You know that you had a toxic family structure. You see the conditioning that you had. And then you can allow and forgive people, but know what you're dealing with. And then you've got to clear out the grief of your, your body every single day and piece yourself together. <laughs> so cheers to that. This is what I've discovered as part of the art of Kintsugi, is that you're not damaged forever. You're changed forever. The narcissist did not damage you forever. You're changed forever. The narcissist did not damage you forever. What you felt was their pain. Not only do you stand up to say no to the abuse, you then are accused of being a bad person because you said no to a otherwise good relationship. And what's wrong with me for leaving this relationship? It wasn't so bad. It didn't matter that they didn't listen to you. It didn't matter that they criticized you because they didn't feel loved enough by you. It didn't, feel, it didn't matter the other restrictions that this person placed on you. Meanwhile, you're criticized, you're ridiculed, you're looked down upon, you're frowned upon, you're treated like a chore for existing. So, there's a reason why his current wife has meltdowns and breakdowns. <laughs> Is that she really doesn't get, he's not interested in her at all. She doesn't matter other than to serve his needs. And if his need is to complain about the wife, then he will use that. They will use whatever it takes for other people to be like, oh, what a good guy. And meanwhile, at home, behind closed doors, the way they treat you, the way they look at you, like you don't matter, Never given compliments, treated like she was a nuisance. Huh? <laughs> so when the fantasy mind wants to say, oh, you could have just dealt with it. You could have taken it on the chin. No, they mirror you initially, everything that you do, they like to do too. Well, hold your cards close to your chest, girls. Um, in fact, keep your entire body out from underneath anything that they can do with it. Don't ever ever get bonded with them sexually ever oh my god okay i was gonna make a message to um message to women who were dating online they're all leftovers <laughs> yeah. and my videos aren't always planned out 
they're used as my sounding board because a lot of the material is really good for writing an essay. So look for the blog post at some point in time. So, okay, this is the message to men, the leftovers online that are scavenging the, the, the uh, bottom of the barrel for women who are more desperate than they are. Women of substance will not be pressured into sex. Your penis really isn't as fascinating or as important to us as it is to you, okay? Keep that to yourself. Keep it under the zipper. Blowjobs, okay, they're something you pay whores to do. That's why they're called jobs. Hello? Blowjob, it says it right there in the name. <laughs> okay, please, no cologne is disgusting. All right, porn has ruined you guys. We are women and you guys surmise that we're crazy and we surmise that you're pent up, frustrated, horny bastards that just look at us as objects of their own erection. But yeah, um, men don't understand that porn is not what women do for sex. That's not what they like. Just sticking it in is never gonna do anything for us. And um, foreplay is important. It's pleasurable. And if you can't do that, you can't have intimacy and you're not worth being in a relationship with. And why we would even get to this place was because we actually had a relationship. Otherwise you just wanna fuck us. Uh, yeah, so I think we're pretty much done. <laughs> I'm pretty much done. Which is bringing me to the next chapter, chapter three. Now that you no longer have this narcissist in your life, constantly making you jump through hoops, by their very presence, by the way they walk in the room, the way they shout your name while they enter the house. So yeah, another day of no um, irritant man in my life. It is a fabulous day. I started noticing that I was suffering physically and I studied German new medicine, which we will talk about in another video. Figure out what it is, go to the actual website. You take an ailment that you have and then you connect it to the emotional thing that you're experiencing. And what it does is it helps you connect the dots. So you want to support somebody that's stuck in something, but if their physical body is breaking down, then you do is you change the mindset. You get a grip on your own self and you understand that the architecture of the emotion and how it's affecting the blueprint of your body. Got it? It helps you understand what's happening so that you can address it emotionally, so that you recover who you really are. It's really about recovering who you are because the narcissist is always trying to get you to cover that person up. So that you recover who you really are. It's really about recovering who you are because the narcissist is always trying to get you to cover that. So that you recover who you really are. So that you recover who you really are. It's really about recovering who you are because the narcissist is always trying to get you to cover that person. The narcissist is always trying to get you to cover that person. So it's body awareness. So every morning you wake up with body awareness and when does the racing mind begin? When does the thoughts start coming? Do what you can to have an inner life and cultivate that so that you recover who you really are. It's really about recovering who you are because the narcissist is always trying to get you to cover that person up. They're so intimidated and we don't get it because we're always trying to be better and we're always trying to improve. Your very existence is enough to piss them off. <laughs> oh my God. Hell hath no fury like a narcissist scorned. And remember, in the art of Kitsugi, narcs are damaged goods forever. But you, my friend, are not. I sure do have some good stories. Was it worth it? I suppose so. It was the grand trifecta. Boy, do I have stories to tell. But yeah. And being with these partners that are narcissistic, it's always adversarial with them. They don't play team with you. They treat you like you're an adversary. <laughs> it's really crazy.